I just need content done. So I said, well, tell us the pages of content you need. And I wrote up like, I think it was close to 30 pages and 27 page, I don't remember. It was around 30. They, the, they gave me a PowerPoint presentation, which I also found to be horseshit. <laughs> you know, I'm like, what the hell? I'm from Texas. I just, just by God, tell me how much, how much is Give it? Give me a number. I yeah. don't want to look at a PowerPoint presentation. Why am I looking at a PowerPoint presentation? Because it was $23,000 and change. <laughs> And I, and I, I, I just about, I just about. I wish I had a picture of your face. Uh, I didn't know you then, but I wish I had a picture well, of your face. I was much more. Moment. I don't know. I was much more animated back then, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> a lot more testosterone. I was really pissed off, you yeah. know. <laughs> and I called the guy up. I called Brent up, and I was like, "What the hell is this about?" You know, she needs some damn content written. And, uh, and, and I will say, nowadays, from doing this so much and how serious content's become for us, but those guys weren't going to write the content we do, by the way. No, they, they were going to write little 150, 200-word articles at most, and they were going to be spammy and horrible. And yeah, easy, back then, Very easy to do, frankly. Back then. We do yeah. write fantastic content. So I don't downgrade content, but by God, $23,000. Yeah. And the guy got an attitude with it. Hey there, it's Nolan and Jason here with Plumbing, Plumbing Webmaster. So today's title is Web Geek Cocky. <laughs> I like this one because it was... Right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's what got me into uh, web work. Yeah. Yeah. So I was, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell the story on this because it's, it's literally what got me into web work. And I think the year was roughly 2006 or, yeah, 2006, maybe maybe five. So we had paid $10,000 back when it cost a lot for design right. for the cheapest high quality design we could get, by, by the way. Yeah. And that was a really good deal. Yeah, right? it was at that time. Uh, at that time. And I know the company we used, so it was yeah. definitely a good deal. It was. It was a good deal. They gave us 10 pages and uh, most people wanted really closer to 20 to 30 at the time. Yeah. And so we were $10,000 and the guy, uh, the guy's name was Brent, and um, we had the design done. So when we went into their office, it was this real chic, I guess I don't know, web geek chic office. Like yeah. it was, it was trendy. It had uh, bricks on the wall, which we've had that too. But they were extra serious about it. Like you know, <laughs> I don't know. They were like, I know. Oh. I mean, I interviewed there. Oh, you way did. back at the beginning okay. of my career, so I know exactly what they you're had the, about. their hair. He'd part his hair, but it'd kind of flip up on the side, yeah. like, <laughs> like Speed Racer, yeah, or something. <laughs> and, like, and then everything was just the the shirts were extra tight, button down shirts, and they just all walked around like we we're just the best thing that ever existed. You should come over with us just because we're so damn cool. Look, look at how awesome we are. <laughs> right. Yeah. So they had a they had a barn door. For, and it was cool. I mean, I'm not saying I didn't like it. Yeah. Oh, they had those roll barn They doors. had a roll barn yeah. door in the conference room. That one wall was glass. There was bricks and distressed wood in there and stuff like that. Yeah. It was, it was actually in the old uh, West End area. Yeah. 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 You remember where it was? Yeah, I mean, I've, been, I've been in that exact office. Anyway, so I had gone over there, and that, that wasn't the problem, really. Fine yeah. if somebody wants a fancy office, I guess. Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm explaining the general attitude of the whole yeah. thing. This is a build-up to what I... I the, they, had, they had the late 90s web attitude, but they still were holding on to it in 2006. Was, yeah. Because you know, uh, 1999 they went I out interviewed of, with them. I think they kind of went out of business over the whole deal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was a change of times of what pricing was and how you had to deal with clients, yeah. right? Yeah. Because they weren't full-blown agencies, so they couldn't really, they had a, they wrote a, a bad fence on the deal, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so in there and I'm like okay good good enough these guys and, and frankly in their defense at the time everybody had this air of like well we just know stuff that you don't do you know we're special we make life happen we do stuff on the web and you don't understand it and then it just appears man you know it's like it reminds me of like a, a heart surgeon or something that gets out of control yeah you know yeah. so anyway so we get the website designed and then the guy comes and says, and I'm like, well, I need, uh, I need for oddly what happened back then was like, well, I need to optimize it, which I don't even know if that was a word to be quite frank. We weren't frank. even using SEO. Yeah, it I'm wasn't not even, even a term. I'm not even sure that it was a term at the time. Yeah. So I need, I want my words to show up. 
And I said, I want some of this fancy stuff y'all do. And they said, whoa, wait a minute. We only do that for us. And I'm like, but I want it. You know? And so he's like, well, we can't do that. And I'm not even going. It's stupid old school SEO stuff. I, yeah. I, it's yeah. embarrassing to talk about what they were doing. <laughs> they were doing um, giving away awards with link backs. Yeah. And uh, hidden uh, keywords in two point type stuffed into yeah. the footer and stuff yeah. like that that we all used. They to were do. doing. Uh, free, Hasn't worked in years. Free hit counter stats with direct link backs and. I can't remember the other stuff. Yeah, but I was like, I want all that stuff, and and I need some content. And they said, Well, we'll consider anything. So <laughs> I said, Well, I just need Which content. Which means cha-ching. <laughs> I just said, I just need content done. So I said, Well, tell us the pages of content you need. And I wrote up like I think it was close to thirty pages, and twenty-seven page. I don't remember. It was around thirty. They the they gave me a PowerPoint presentation, which I also found to be horseshit. You know, I'm like. <laughs> What the hell? I'm from Texas. I just, just by God, tell me how much, how much is Give it? Give me a number. I yeah. don't want to look at a PowerPoint presentation. Why am I looking at a PowerPoint presentation? Because it was twenty three thousand dollars and change. <laughs> and I, and I, I, I just about, I just. About I wish I had a picture of your face. Uh, I didn't know you then, but I wish I had a picture well, of your face. I was much more. Moment. I don't know. I was much more animated back then. You know. Yeah. So, <laughs> a lot more testosterone. I was really pissed off. You yeah. know. <laughs> And I called the guy up, I called Brent up, and I was like, what the hell is this about? You know, she needs some damn content written. And, uh, and, and I will say, nowadays, from doing this so much and how serious content's become for us, but those guys weren't going to write the content we do, by the way. No, they, they were going to write little 150, 200-word articles at most, and they were going to be spammy and horrible. And yeah, easy, back then. Very easy to do, frankly. Back then, we do yeah. write fantastic content. So I don't downgrade content, but by God, twenty three thousand dollars. Yeah. And the guy got an attitude with me, and I said, "Hey, man, don't don't misstep your damn self. I'm not stupid." Because he was talking to, I said, "You're talking to me like I'm stupid." I said, I, "I run a home security company, which is what I ran at the time. I just don't know web work. Don't talk to me like that again." And uh, I never did business with him again. And then we hired four webmasters. Mm -hmm. That's what started the whole thing. Yep. But um, I like to say that no one started this company out of spite. Yeah, <laughs> I did. I did. It wasn't a good. Uh, it wasn't a good move. I wish that I had the foresight back then as, as the, that we started doing SEO work or something that made money. But <laughs> we hired four people. There might have been five, and um, there was. It was a brilliant group of people. We just got flawless people back then, not that we don't have them now, but we went for like code based and programmers and designers. It was just, uh, right now we have an entire room, dozens of people. This little group was all programmers and high end designers. Yeah. And as a team of like four or five. The issue with it was, is that within a year and a half, I'm like, I was just now remembering it, talking to uh, John in there about stuff that we had done. We had a crime uh, stat clock. Because I had this room oh, yeah, full of, we had that. a room full of people and it's like, I couldn't even think of enough stuff to keep them all busy. Yeah. Because the problem was I spent like a quarter million dollars and in a year and I'm like, I can't afford this for my own personal consumption, you know? But so we were trying to figure out stuff to do, but we had manuals and PDFs and all this stuff and we had that crime clock and we had all the stuff that they said they wouldn't do, you know? Yeah. But that's where the term web geek cocky, I don't know of anybody, uh, I think that's my term, Yeah, right? you are the only person <laughs> I've ever heard use it, so yeah. I don't know if it's proud to say, but I came up with web geek cocky, and the reason I bring it up is because it's bullshit that they treat business owners that way. Yeah. Now I understand everything really well. Yeah. at this point in time. But back then, that's how they treat it. And the, the plumbers listening know damn well what I'm talking about. Well, yeah. They, they, they've talked to two or three companies and two or three dudes They're all web geek cocky. Yeah. Well, I just happen to know slightly more than you. On this one subject. On this one thing. You know, it's like, well, that doesn't mean the guy's smarter than you. Doesn't mean he is smarter than the plumber. Doesn't mean he's smarter than any business owner. It just means he's a jackass. 
that's trying, you know? Yeah. It means he's a <laughs> jackass that's trying to take advantage of somebody. And I've contemplated this way too many times. But so when, when these guys call, and by the way, if somebody comes off like web geek cocky, especially the owner of the company comes off like this, and you know who I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> so, but especially the owner of the company comes off web geek cocky and the videos they do online, that is not a good sign. Yeah. Because I think personally it's a psychological defense mechanism. Yeah. That they're really fairly poor quality at what they do, or they're really just a sales shyster. Yeah. Well, it's smoke and mirrors. It's trying yeah. to make you think that what they're doing is so arcane and esoteric that there you go. no one Listen, else. That's fancy that's, stuff. That's, words, that, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that no one else can possibly do it, and only their special knowledge. And it's, I mean, we do have knowledge of what we're doing, but our clients have knowledge of what they do. I don't know jack crap about plumbing. Yeah. I know that when I flush the toilet, stuff I don't want in the house goes away. <laughs> But, does but the, beyond that, if there's a problem you, with it. I gotta call somebody. Does the plumber come up and go, "Well, I gotta tell you, I can root that out for you. It's gonna cost you though, because <laughs> not too many people know how to do it as good Nobody, as me. Nobody, not too many people know how to stick this snake down the <laughs> yeah. drain. Uh, I gotta tell you, I mean, hey, I, I mean, plumbers don't do that as a general rule. No, of they thumb. come in and they say, "This is your problem. This is what I can do. Well, these are your two options. This one's more expensive, but it's a longer last." They're repair. humble and do the service. Yeah. What industry has jackasses walking around, acting cocky to everybody, trying to blow smoke to them so they don't understand what's going on? Doctors. Doctors do it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Lawyers, but you know what we're doing. Are, I mean, yeah. we're we're basically internet plumbers. If you want to get right well, we down do to high it, high end skilled work them. that gets graded by the search engines, and we speak about it in terms that people can understand right. humbly and gratefully, as a freaking service business should do. Right. And I don't get why these anybody, guys go anybody around. Anybody that's in our client portfolio, we're happy to have them as a client. We want to keep them. Yeah. Try not being a doctor or a web agency and get away with being a jackass to everybody. Right. You know? Right. I don't let the doctors get away with me either, by the way. Bullcrap. <laughs> taking their bullshit. And I'd go, I'd go double check them if anybody gets like that with me. You know? No matter who it is. But yeah, they get like that because they got some God complex. Yeah. Well, they did know? 10 years of school and, you know, they had yeah. the, the respectable job. And all Not that every is. doctor's like that, but uh, if a few hundred thousand are like that, there might be some people that think that. <laughs> There's some lawyer, I forgot who it was, made a comment. It's like, well, it's nothing that a few hundred thousand bad apples didn't ruin. <laughs> so it's like, you know, if it's a, a, uh, anyway. But yeah, so I think that almost the entire web industry attempts to treat the client like they're less than them and don't know anything. It, who gives a crap if the client doesn't understand? what the service provider is doing. Yeah. Exactly. That doesn't mean you treat them like some a -hole. Right. You still have to be respectful. Yeah. And I mean, when I, when I talk to clients, I explain things to them and I say, let me know if you want me to go deep dive on this, if you just want the high points, and they'll tell me. And right. sometimes they want to hear the details, and then sometimes I'll ask questions, and sometimes they're like, I don't care. Just get me to show up in the search engine. So, so it's something ever since we started this business uh, with the webmasters is that we don't act web geek cocky to clients. We don't talk down to clients. We explain things well. Um, if we, if we, when we go into what we do, we explain it to the client and how it's done. A lot of stuff the client doesn't see the code base and things that are done, but that doesn't mean that we talk about it in a way that is over their head or intentionally demeaning. Right. You know. Right. That's what I don't like about it. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it's essentially saying to somebody that I'm smarter than you, and which isn't, isn't true. Yeah. You know? I know uh, one thing, or I know about this subject that maybe you don't know about, but you know about a subject I don't know about, and that's why we're working together, so that we yeah. can provide you the thing that you need, that you don't necessarily know, but at least you're smart enough to know, know that you need it. Yeah. Which is the case with every service out Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. that's the whole basis, the basis of, our, of, our uh, of our society. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so <laughs> yeah. to work. It's the basis of the, so the, how things work, but for some reason it's web geek cocky. Um, but I really believe that they do it because they're ashamed in many cases. They're, 
Uh, if you guys watch any of these uh, videos or podcasts, you know that um, it, I don't believe, well, I know that 95 plus percent of digital marketing agencies don't do a good job of what they offer you, whether it's the SEO services or the uh, or the AdWords management or the social media management. Yeah, uh, but when they're talking over your head like that or trying to, yeah. they're trying to disguise Agreed. what they're yeah. doing or not doing. They're trying to they're trying to get your eyes to glaze over so they don't actually have to explain anything well, in a way where you can catch them. On so something. what I know that the plumbers may or may not know is that they're, these guys that you're talking to that do this are primarily the salesperson. Right. And the salesperson actually does not know very well. Yeah. So um, one of the reasons I still talk to clients to this day is because they've been screwed around so many times by these web geek cocky people. And the, the other issue is is that really the whole company could be nothing but primarily salespeople. Yeah, yeah. you see that a lot yeah. if you look. If you, if you go to the <laughs> website of digital marketing agencies this a lot, is a good, and you, yeah. look, you look at the, the you know, meet the team page, you're going to see sales, sales, business development, sales, sales, business development. And then way down at the bottom, there's a group of four people that are actually doing code and design. And we design. don't actually have a meet the team page. We have a group photo shot, but there are no salespeople in the shot. Every, everybody in that shot, there, there's, there's two customer service reps. There's a couple programmers. There's designers and there's content writers. Yeah. And there's me as management and Nolan as sales and management. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. There's there's not a giant sales team. We have a giant production team. We're kind of the flip side of most of the other we companies. Do. Yeah, we do really high end work, but you know, I just I, I it's a topic I wanted to do for a while, but it's so stupid sounding. <laughs> but it's so prevalent throughout the industry. Yeah. And I believe that it masks somebody's screwing someone around. Yeah. I believe it's sales, uh, salesy nonsense from ashamed people that are trying to protect themselves. Because Actually, of, I think those people have no shame. That's my personal take. They may not. They may not have any shame, but that, but somewhere in there, it manifests itself into this horrible behavior yeah. of screwing people around. I like to keep these short and sweet. I, All feel, right. I feel like I'm I done. I think we covered it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Web geek cocky. Don't okay. fall for it. Yeah. And don't put up with it. <laughs> don't, don't, take put, it easy. don't put up. Take up for yourself, damn it. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs>